Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects, a Make Magazine video podcast. This week, I'm going to teach you how to make bridges. Now, bridges connect one place to another, and they have to hold weight. And we're going to make them and see if we can make them stand up. We're going to use popsicle sticks, and we're going to use hot glue, and it's going to be awesome. Recently, I held a bridge building competition where about 200 people came and broke up into small groups and then each made their own bridge. It was tons of fun. You could do the same thing. Bring some friends over, get some popsicle sticks, some hot glue, and then see if your bridge will hold up under the pressure. To start out, you need about a thousand popsicle sticks. Well, you could probably get by with just a few hundred, but hey, a thousand is a much more exciting number. Now, then you're going to need glue and you're going to need to figure out how you're going to put it together. Now, from what I noticed, it's best to go with triangles. Triangles are just really an engineer's best friend. They're like, they're a structurally integral part of bridges. In fact, if you check out bridges, you'll see tons of triangles. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and build one up for you and we'll see if it works. In just a moment, this bridge could be completely destroyed. So let me show you how it works before that happens. Okay, I've got a flat bottom and a flat top, and then I've got two other major long pieces of flatness here that basically take all the way from the top, and I'm theorizing that the weight will go from the top here and be spread out to the sides and therefore maintain rigidity and stay completely strong as I step on it. I also have done tons of cross bracing here, lots of triangles. You can see on the side I've just added a ton here so that basically there's, there'll be no lateral shift either. Now, this could be the last time we see it in this form. First one foot, uh, and then the second foot, oh I did it, it's actually holding my own weight, oh it's creaking, oh no that's a bad sign. Okay. It's holding my weight. Okay, that's enough. Yes. The, the bridge did it. It held my weight. Good bridge. Okay, now let's take a look at some footage of some people who weren't so successful and were as successful at the Ignite Seattle bridge building event. Check it out. Did you really get 998 sticks on there? Yeah. 
Big thanks to Tina and the On 10 folks who are there with their camera documenting all that stuff. I'm glad you were there. I can't wait till the next Ignite where we're going to have some other kind of contraption we're going to make people make. Now it's your turn. Go forth, get some popsicle sticks, make some bridges, mix it on up. You could make the span that it has to cross bigger, or you could use different kinds of glues, or, or make it more of a challenge where the ratio of how much your bridge weighs to how much it can actually hold is actually what you end up having to measure. That would be cool. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis for Make Magazine. Go out and make some bridges, and have a great weekend.